Here's a great warm up for your right hand. We're going to start by using a pick. Now right hand exercises not only have to do with your fingers and your hands, but they have to do with your ear as well because this is how you execute the notes. If you get used to hearing something wrong, it starts sounding right after a while. So you need to pay very close attention to your right hand. Let's start by playing four notes in a row on your D string or the fourth string. Now after doing that, did they sound exactly alike in terms of volume and tone? If they didn't, that's where you need to start. Just be able to play four notes in a row that sound identical. Okay, so just work on that. When you can do that, now play four upstrokes in a row. And if you're skillful and paying attention, they should have sounded just like your four downstrokes. Many players play very erratically like this, and their tone when they pick is not even. You want to develop this. You want to get to the point to where your ear will not accept uneven picking. And that's what this exercise and warm-up is about. The end result of this exercise is, is a tremolo. And it'll sound like this. And when you're executing it well, and without looking at your hand, you can't tell which is a downstroke and which is an upstroke. It should just sound very smooth, this nice smooth tremolo, for as long as you want to do it. Now the way we get to that point is by playing alternate downstrokes and upstrokes. Down, up, down, up, like this. Start at this tempo, and remember the goal is to get the notes to sound identical in terms of volume and tone. Now when you can do that, you speed it up until it starts sounding ragged, maybe like this. That means you're going too fast and you need to bring the tempo way, way down. You never want to practice faster than you can play correctly. Now what I do is I spend two minutes on each string every day just doing this. Now I've been doing this for a few years and so I do a tremolo on each string for two solid minutes, sometimes longer if I feel like I need the work. Eventually you'll get up to that point and you just stand there with your watch and you watch the second hand go around and you play this tremolo nice and smooth. Okay. Now there's an additional thing I want to show you with this. Um, a lot of players play with what we call circular alternate picking. And it's not a whole lot different than regular alternate picking. It's just that when you play your downstroke, your thumb reaches forward and your thumb is indented. And then on the upstroke, the thumb is bent, almost 45 degrees at this angle. Now, you're going to find that when you play this circle, or an oval actually, your downstroke will be fine. But as you come up with your upstroke, you're going to sort of angle in on the string and sort of saw through it a little bit, and that's not what you want. So the remedy for that is to hold the pick so loosely that when you play that upstroke, the string itself, the contact with the string, will straighten the plane of the pick right out for you. If you're holding too tight, that won't happen. So hold it really loose. Now get started with this by simply drawing an oval over the string we're going to pick. And make sure it's a nice, even oval, and then eventually just lower the pick into the strings. Like this. And once again, in time, you're going to bring it up until you have a tremolo. Two minutes a day on each string. It's sort of 12 minutes that'll change your life. Now, the next step is to try and duplicate that sound with whatever finger style technique you like to use. The two most popular ways of playing finger style with single notes is using the I finger and the M finger alternately, you know, or playing the P finger and the middle finger alternately. Either way, the goal is the same. You want your upstrokes and downstrokes and alternate strokes to be all identical in terms of volume and tone. 
Now later on when you get your tremolo really working, then what you want to do is start playing around with different volumes. Start at your default volume, sort of a medium, medium volume here. And then gradually get as soft as you possibly can without disrupting the evenness. And then gradually get louder. Now the tendency is to play faster when we play loud and softer when we play uh, slower. Your goal is to make everything identical. It's almost as if somebody has flicked the picking switch and now you're a machine and you're just picking that string.